Hello there, my name is Patrick and this is CodeXPEC channel. Recently we've been talking a lot about testing. We have covered some theory behind tests and also how to configure and execute unit tests. Now it's the time to tackle the topic of integration tests. Executing integration tests can be a bit more challenging compared to unit testing due to the fact that we no longer test code in isolation we need to test a code in the context of our projects. Therefore, to execute a test case, PHP unit needs to set up a test instance of Magento. And as you can imagine, it can be time and resource consuming. But don't worry, I will show you how to efficiently work with it. The good news though, is that when it comes to writing integration tests, it can be actually easier than writing unit tests because we have access to all of the Magento resources. We don't need to worry about mocking because we have access to all of the um, objects that Magento uses. Let's then prepare first our environment. Because we use Warden, we will start with the file called .env, which is the configuration file for Warden. As I already mentioned, PHP unit will set up a test instance of Magento. So we need to have access to all of the external services that Magento uses, like OpenSearch, RabbitMQ, Redis, and of course, MySQL. When it comes to database, it is recommended to have a separate instance of database. It's because when we run integration tests, PHP unit will clean the database based on the configuration, we will see that later, but it will clean the database uh, so it will mean that if we connect to our normal local database, it will clear our database. It will delete everything that we created before. And second thing is that we need to test on the data set that we prepared in our test cases. So if we have some data already in the database, this will lead to conflicts. That's why we will just change a configuration in the .env file for warden test db, which will enable a separate instance of database. We switch, uh, we change that value, and now we can switch to CLI. We need to go to warden. Uh, okay, we need to run warden env uh, app so that the change is applied. And you can see here that new container with Magento TMP MySQL was created. This is the separate instance because you can see that there is Magento DB, which is the main uh, database that we normally use while, development, uh, while developing. Once it's done, we can get back to PHPStorm and go to the dev test integration directory. In here, there is located whole configuration of the Magento and PHP unit for integration tests. We will start with the etc directory and uh, you can see that there are three configuration files. Let's uh, firstly uh, start with the install config MySQL. Let's copy and uh, let's copy that file and just remove the dist suffix. And in this file, we define options for the bin magento setup install command. So everything that is defined here will be used by PHP unit to install magento. Therefore, we need to define a configuration, for example, for uh, MySQL, uh, OpenSearch, and so on. Because we use Warden, we can go to uh, the, the documentation of Warden into the testing Magento running integration test. And in the running integration test section, we will have some uh, configuration file. We can just copy that and paste it here. So uh, DB host has been changed to TMP MySQL, which is the test instance of uh, our database. We also need to change the configuration for Elasticsearch because we use OpenSearch. That's why we need to change search engine. And Elasticsearch host and Elasticsearch port are no longer valid if you use the OpenSearch connection. That's why we need to change it to OpenSearch. And also the OpenSearch host should be uh, changed to OpenSearch. The port stays the same. And also, uh, we don't need uh, to worry about Redis, this can be just removed. And also, what's really important, if, we, if you have in app.etc config PHP, if you have some modules that are disabled, you also need to disable that into 
uh, in this install config mysql file so there is there is disable modules and i will just copy a content of it but it's really important that this configuration won't be copy so let's get back here and i will paste the content here this in the further uh, videos also there is a post install setup command uh, config file we don't need to copy that uh, but in this file you can define some additional comments that should be run after installing test instance of magento once this configuration is done we can go to the php unit xml of course we just need to remove the dist suffix so let's just do it and um, let's see what we have here so this file is similar to the php unit xml from the unit testing uh, so we'll just need to uh, prepare it for our uh, purposes so for example we don't need the coverage node let's just remove that uh, we just want to run the test from the app code integration test directory so let's also remove that and that and just leave the uh, integration real suit we can also just make it shorter um, doesn't really matter and at the bottom of the page we'll just remove the extensions also uh, this is not needed for our purposes so this is just some uh, reporting uh, for testing so let's remove that and uh, I will just tackle this uh, upcode first. So if you switch to the branch that I have commented under this YouTube video, uh, you will see that there is another module in upcode code expect integration test only uh, for the integration uh, test purposes. Uh, so in here there is just a sample module to see if even, uh, so if our configuration works basically. Uh, so just, uh, yeah let's just get back to php xml and tackle the php node so in here you, you can define some uh, configuration for the php so for example you can define the time zone or max nesting level this is enough for our purposes we don't need to change anything and uh, these constants are used for the php unit specifically so as you can see in this um, configuration test install config file we define from where we should take, from where PHP unit should take the install config uh, configuration, right? So where is the config, how to install MySQL, right? And also post install command, where is the global config, uh, where is the global config where we store our configuration. So this is from the root, so this is actually app etc. So this define uh, where is this directory, right? And what is really important is the test cleanup variable. This configuration defines if you want to clean up our database before running tests. This will mean that before each single test case, we will have a clean database for our purposes, for our testing. But of course, this will also significantly decrease the whole performance of integration test. That's why it's recommended to change it to disabled. This way, it will be only installed once and later in uh, test cases, we will use the same instance of database. But there is a downside of it. We will need to keep our database clean by ourselves. This will mean that if you add some data to a database, you will need to uh, also clean it. Because if the next test is using some different data or wants to add the same data, it will probably uh, lead into some conflicts like uniqueness and so on. Um, that's why there is a specific uh, annotation in the integration framework, uh, but we'll take a look in the next videos. Uh, so I will show you how to deal with it uh, without actually worrying very much about the whole consistency thing. Okay, and there are some additional uh, configurations. Um, we can uh, change the memory usage limit. So for our purposes, like eight gigabytes should be enough. Uh, of course, you can change this value for your uh, case, uh, but yeah, uh, all the variables like profi profilers and so on, uh, we can see that there is test Magento mode. Yeah, I was looking for it. Uh, so in this configuration, you can define how Magento should work in which state is either default developer or production. So let's uh, leave is le let's leave it as developer. And that's actually should be enough to run our integration test cases. So let's go to CLI and why CLI? So I have some issues while uh, 
trying to configure integration tests with Warden inside of PHP Storm. Um, so I was struggling with it and I decided that it will be just easier to use the CLI. That's why we'll also use it. So let's go to Warden shell and run bin magento dev tests run and we'll define what type of test which is integration. Let's wait and after some time we should see some results. And okay, it's working. So we can see that one test was running and some usage statistics. And if we run the same command again, it is almost instant because we don't need to install uh, Magento again. Of course, there is one test and if you run 100 tests, it will take some time. Uh, but yeah, you can see the difference. So now our integration tests are working. We can conclude for today. And in the next videos, we will focus on uh, how to write integration tests and also how to use annotations from the Magento integration framework. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.